<laughs> this is stupid shit, man. <laughs> I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Let's do this right. shit. Let's do it. All right. Starting the countdown in three, two, be quiet. Three, two, one. She's like, ooh. What's up, everyone? What's happening? You're tuned in to a new episode of the Trifecta Podcast. <laughs> we already having fun already before we even start, man. I'm your man, Taylor May Boy, here with Sincere B and Red 1167. The wife is sitting here, a.k.a. Wonder Quinn, starting shit as she always do. Everybody, what's happening? What's going on with y'all? What it do? Ah, uh, great to be alive, man. Great to be alive. You want to chime in since you've already been causing problems? That's you. Okay, whatever the hell that was supposed to it be. It was a punch. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> See, so, punch, this, huh? this, is, this is already going off crazy. You punch like already. a girl. I'm a girl. <laughs> you want to tell? You want to tell people your your nickname? Wonder it, Quinn, no, no, no. What some people call you, regardless of if you're a girl or not, about you fighting. Oh, mm -hmm. um, diva. Exactly. Damn! Mm -hmm. and, and Knocking bitches was, out. And when I was in, when I was in middle school, they called me Zena, the warrior. Mm. Damn. Yeah. But leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So this episode, we're going to be talking about weapons and the type of weapons that you got when you were younger, and if you feel as though that's actually missing in society today, we let. So Sid start that off, uh, then also he's going to have another topic as far as what actually makes you gag. Then, <laughs> I, knew that was, I knew somebody was going to laugh at bitch. <laughs> I, I was trying to hold it together, man. I was trying to hold it together. <laughs> I, to hold it together. <laughs> I tried to be strong. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I was trying to hold it together, man. I really was. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, right after that, we have, right Ridge. <laughs> we have Ridge with his new smartwatch that he actually needed to come across. And do you, do you see what I'm saying? You're just messing up. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't need to. <laughs> Ridge will be starting off as far as uh, letting us know about a new smartwatch that he actually found. And then the last thing we'll be talking about is this whole thing with uh, Adam Saller if I pronounce that correctly. Um, if you guys don't know, he actually got kicked off of a Delta airplane uh, recently. But there's been some transpiring in information that actually was released today. And I actually want to kind of share with you guys. But we will let Sincere start this off. So pick whatever topic you want to go with first. I'm not setting myself up <laughs> for failure. <laughs> so go ahead, brother. We're taking your lead. All right, so I uh, wanted to talk about whippings and like asking y'all, like, what was the worst whipping you ever received from your parents? And do you think that parents still should be allowed to whip their kids to a certain extent? We're not talking about abuse, but actually whipping them without being concerned about going to jail or being arrested or having a kid taken from them. So, so do you think that, that that should be still allowed or it should be, you know, pretty much banned from whipping your kids, period? Well, for me, I would I would start off in saying that for me. I said beat him. What are you For me, that ass. Uh -huh. For me, <laughs> for me personally, the the worst whipping I've gotten was getting the beaten while you're wet. Like I was in the shower. I can't remember what I did. I think I rode the bike. I think I rode the bike somewhere where I wasn't supposed to be riding it, and my mother was mad as hell and um, told me to get in the shower. And I just remember, you know, washing up, and she come bursting in the room like fucking Jason. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I seen that butt on her hand, and my heart dropped in my ass, like literally. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, that was the worst one. And she didn't hit me like countless of times, but like twice. And when you when when you're soaking wet and you're trying to block like belt shots, that hurts. As much as trying to block it, like if, if if you're getting if you're getting hit, period, and you got on clothes, I mean you don't feel it as much. But for me, but me that's that's the that, worst whipping that, that I got. But I totally agree with Reg, though, man. I think you should be able to beat your kids to an extent without it being to to the extent of abuse. 
Because, I mean, even now, I mean, you can see how society is now, man. Without beatings, you see what the fuck the shit is like now, man. It's, and it's out of control. Yeah, yeah. man. I feel yeah. the same way. By, by you, Reds. Man, um, I got abused. I'm going to tell you straight up. I got abused. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. The worst whipping I ever got, my dad whipped me with a telephone cord. Damn. And the reason why he whipped me with the telephone cord was, see, my dad was a hustler, and he was always into doing something, right? So he had this big old, like, one of, you know, them big old pickle jars you used to go to the store, they got the pickles, and you know? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he, he said, uh, Red, get, get the pickle jar out the truck, right? <laughs> I just stuck out the truck, got it all the way to the back gate. It slipped and fell out my hand. My dad, what? Next thing I know, man, I got my ass towed up with a telephone cord. Was it those big thick pickles? No, it, it wasn't. A, it wasn't. A, it was just a jar. Was it plain jar by itself? Damn. Yeah, just a jar. No, nope, nothing yeah. in it. No money and nothing in it. Nothing. Yeah, you got to bruise, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, now, the, man. And the worst whipping, my, worst whipping my mom ever gave me. Um, I kind of deserved this one. This dude was trying to date my sister, right? Mm-hmm. And I always felt like I was protective of my sister, even though she was 11 years older than me. Um, dude was trying to date her, and I was like, she got a boyfriend. Why don't you go find somebody else? And my mom heard that, called me in the room, and she took my Hot Wheels track and told my behind. Hot Wheels oh, track? And said, yeah, that was none hurt. of my business. Things my hurt. sister. <laughs> But yeah, man, the kids today, man, they they blessed. Yeah, they are, man. I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think parents should, should still be able to spank their kids, man. I remember, I remember, I got spanked in in, in school. Mm. I got paddled in school, man. That was still in. Mm. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, hell yeah. I got paddled on, on report card day for football. You coming up with a D? Oh, you getting your ass paddled with a paddle. I come from a piece of a desk that had like five holes in that shit. Oh yeah, I mm. remember those. Yeah, I remember that time you had to suck your ass cheek through that hole, man. <laughs> <laughs> Effective, man. Effective. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I think it should bring that back, man. I think I think the world would be a little bit better place if they start whooping kids again. And no more. And, and and another thing, check the damn rooms. How can a person, li- a kid, live with you for nineteen years and you don't check the room for eighteen years? It's no yeah, come on, man. Yeah, it's no way possible. No way possible. They got bombs yeah. and shit already made from seventy five, man. Why? Yeah, man. What's oh, the y'all want to know my whipping? Yeah, of course. You're sitting here yeah. listening. Of course, we oh, I only got two spankings in my lifetime. Two. Two. One, two, uno, dos. I'm sorry, that's kind of hard to believe. I only got two spankings in my lifetime. So yeah, how bad? Good. How bad was it? No, she's not. No, she wasn't a good kid. Don't don't make it seem like she was. That's a saint. what I'm saying. Nah, she was She wasn't a saint. I'm gonna oh tell y'all that. Shit, what man. do you mean? I was a saint until I got turned into a teenager. And then that's until when you got turned beating my ass. Hold on. With his belt, <laughs> so, so you said you got turned into a teenager? No, as until if. I turned into a teenager, I was a good child. <laughs> like magic. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus turned water into wine. So up until yeah. I turned thirteen, up until I turned thirteen, I was a, I was a good child. Like I was quiet. I sat there. I did what my grandmother told me. I didn't bother no adults. I was just there. So like I didn't get spankings. But the one time that I did get a spanking is because my I I used to like look out the window all the time, and I had left the window open. And then and forgot to close it. My grandma was like, uh, who opened the window? I mean, why did you open the window? Because I have the air on. And I was like, I didn't open the window. And she was like, okay, it's just me in the house and you. Who opened the window? She, I was like, I don't know. And she was like, what? Wait, so who opened the window? And I was just like, I, I don't know. I didn't open the window. So she was like, it's just me and you again in the house. I didn't open it. Me and you, <laughs> your mama and your cousin too. <laughs> So I was like, I didn't open it. But anyway, so she, you know, called me a little liar and everything. And then I ran from her because she pulled out the belt. And then I got locked in the bathroom. 
and I couldn't open the door. She thought I was lying, but this time I couldn't open the door. I got stuck in the bathroom, and then the maintenance man had to come, and it was like late at night. The maintenance man had to come and get me out of the bathroom because I was locked in there, and she beat my ass. <laughs> that was Damn. the worst whipping Damn. I had. Now, do you think Man. do you think whipping should be still part of society now, or do you think? Yes. Uh, do you see all these badass kids out here? <laughs> all these kids screaming, "I hate your mommy!" and kicking people and all this. Oh my lord! Like it was mm -hmm. this little boy on a video. They was getting some food, and the little boy spit and kicked this old lady. Oh and hell old no! Old lady. After he kicked the old lady, she kind of like like hit him. And he flew across the thing and started crying, and then the mother won't go up to the lady and try to fight her. After your child just spit on her and kicked her and called her all out her name, where were you this whole time? I would have beat both their asses. That's with me. The the, 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 yes, the I sure would have. And the baby? I sure would have. Not the old lady. No, the old lady had every right to do that. Which, who was both then? It was the mother and the, and the, oh, and the oh, child. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess what you're saying. Oh, if you were yeah. fast yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, let somebody <laughs> spit on me. It's it's World War Six. Fuck three, yeah, fuck yeah. four, fuck five. It's World War Six. Yeah. Somebody got to die that day. Exactly. <laughs> somebody, somebody got to die that day. Yo. Exactly. That, that's the ultimate, <laughs> me, so. that is the ultimate sign yeah. of disrespect. Like, you can call yeah. me all types of names, but you spit on somebody. That's having yeah. no regards. He's yeah. like six or seven. Like, he was, he was little. And, like, you just sitting there letting your child just do all this and then get mad because somebody do something else to your child when you should have disciplined them. Yeah. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works, and, and not with me anyway. I know it don't work that way with y'all, but can't have nobody spitting on me. They're going to the hospital messing with me. I, I can tell you that now. Um, what's Somebody the, is. So how do you feel about this? Say, what's the worst worst beating you got, and how do you feel about beatings in society today? Oh, like I said before, I, I'm, I'm with it, man. I'm with it. Um, my, my, my worst one was similar to yours. Uh, we was having a me and my boys were having a little rock battle. <laughs> oh man, I remember those. We threw rocks at each other. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. So I missed and, my, and hit my window, my neighbor's window right in the living room window and broke it. So we took off running. Everybody mm. went inside the house. So I'm sitting in my room like I, I went in the house like nothing. I went in my room and shit. And then like an hour passed, nobody came. So I'm like I got I, I, I got away with this shit. Cool. So I go to the bathroom and take me a bath, man, right? I'm in the tub and shit. I'm on bus in. So you broke the neighbor's window and just I whooped my ass with a belt, dude, while I was in the water, man. Mm. man. Every time that belt hit me, man, it just like stuck to my skin and she pulled it off mm. me, like pulled my skin, dude. Mm. I mean, mm. a good five minutes ass whooping. And I couldn't get up, man. I kept slipping in the motherfucking tub. You <laughs> can't run. <laughs> so, so to this day, I lock the bathroom door every time I go in the bathroom to this day, dude. Because I don't know it may come bust through it again, man. With my ass. <laughs> PTSD for the bathroom. It's crazy. I I can't fault them though. I mean, like I said, you get you get whipped once when you get when you're wet. That's it. So, you can't do nothing, man. That was worse than that, but I was you can't crazy. grab the belt because it's leather and it's slippery. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Can't get a tub. The tub's slippery. <laughs> you could just use the try to use the shower curtains as like a shit. <laughs> That's right? all you can do, man. <laughs> you know Block the face. Block your face. That's all you can do. What's, what did you used to do on the tub? I used to put soap at the bottom of the bathtub and act like I was ice skating. Mm. <laughs> what? Try, trying to get your neck broke. <laughs> what? <laughs> when I was bored and my grandmother wasn't paying attention, I used to take the 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 Ajax soap. And go to the bathroom and like pour it all over the bottom of the tub, and then I'll get in and act like I'm <laughs> that's, skating. That's, hood, that's what you call hood struggles. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. God damn. Shit. <laughs> 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 Boy, private, man. Boy, God. Skating around like shit in that tub. <laughs> God damn! I used to do that for years. I think I started. Oh when god! I was like five. Oh man! Oh man! That ain't is, went no, ain't going nowhere. That's, that's the that's the true uh, definition of hood struggle. That is the true I definition. Do, you know, the pirouettes uh, and all. Oh, <laughs> oh, so, so bet that. God damn! Oh man! Oh, that's crazy. Shit. Oh, man. So, what, what, so what's the other thing you got to say? What's the other topic you got for us? <laughs> what makes you gag, yo? <laughs> 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 Are we gonna skip me on this? No, I can't even say that shit with straight face, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna let the wife go first right. since she was asking. No, what, we, 
what we're really talking about though here is really <laughs> it's really like what 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 thing that makes you disgusted like makes you want to just throw up like mm-hmm. you can be cool with snakes but what 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 what's something that you see or even an action that makes you want to just gag man mm. that's you a good one me go first? yes why would you want the girl to go first because you was trying to skip it that's why so yes you're going first it makes me gag really mm-hmm. Is that why every time if I were to speak? Wait, what? Not, see, <laughs> you see, you're not even letting me finish. If I were to spit mucus out of my mouth into the streets, not what you spitting, Aaron? What you spitting that? What you spitting on, yo? What you spitting on? <laughs> yo, what you spitting on? <laughs> see, she cut me off if I can even finish the damn statement. Oh, no, like, no, oh, like, okay, so. If some, you know how somebody can play with spit yeah, in my mouth and, and like had that spit bubble. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I want to throw up. I can't stand when oh. somebody spits or it felt like a kid is like crying and they're drooling all over themselves. Mm-hmm. Or if I had to wipe, like you know how old people when they get a little old and the drool comes out and they talk I'm like I can't. I, I can't. True. <laughs> Oh, so, 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 Aaron, I know the ultimate punishment for her. If she ever make you mad, just hold her down and let some drool just oh, drip no, out I, your I, mouth I, just a little oh, bit. All he have to do is, you know how you make that spit bubble in your mouth when you open your mouth and it's just spit and it's a bubble? <laughs> oh, my God, I will punch you in your face. I can <laughs> <laughs> bust that bubble. thinking of that right Oh, God, I can't. I can't. What you got, Rich? I had a... I had an uncle who would always sit on the toilet and eat a sandwich. <laughs> that sounds like my pops. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me gag. Man. That, man, I couldn't stand that. Uh. Hey, sometimes you hungry, but you got to let it out. <laughs> uh, oh, but how you be letting God, it in and out? Damn, you doing time. double duty, man. That's savage as hell. <laughs> you, you filling it back up as you let it out. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh. Mm. That's, a, that's a clean system right there. <laughs> like... For me, it's the sound of, you know, when someone's trying to hawk spit. And, you know, they, that sound effect that they make. Yeah, like that whole thing, I'm like, it makes my, it just makes my, my stomach kind of like turn a little bit. Because it's, it's just the fact, because some people go extreme. Like Ace Ventura, when he was uh, in the actual, um, in the hut, Ace Ventura too, And they were sitting there spitting back and forth with one another. And he was doing that big ass loogie. Like that whole, that whole thing of that happening. Just I I just couldn't watch that scene. Like I couldn't. I had to mute it. I had to really. I really had to mute it because of the simple fact that it it just kind of disturbed the hell out of me, man. <laughs> they really did. Well, yeah. what you got, sincere? Um. Yeah. I think I think people that talk to you that had like a lot of shit in their throat, like cold in their throat and shit. And they need to spit it out, and they start gagging like they get like kind of throwing up and not throwing up. <laughs> Are you are you smacking <laughs> on your chest now right now? <laughs> no, that shit freaks me out, man. Cause I know, cause in my head I see these big <laughs> yellow glob shit. Oh man, chucking out of their mouth on the ground, and I'm a step in that shit if, um, one day on the bottom of my shoe. I bet you on the bottom of my shoe we stepped like a hundred other things, man. We didn't yep. even know it. You just yep. you just made the wifey throw the headphone out her head. Just the <laughs> simple just the simple fact that you talking about. Oh, this is... it's, 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 I'm serious. Can you, Cause you know how it look. You know how yours look. Oh yeah. You do it. Yeah. Absolutely. But sometimes it's worse for some people. Like they have a big glob of that shit, man. In my head. Is he still talking? Oh, oh my god, dude. It is. Oh, no. I, I think most of them not hear the, the the thought, the, the cough action. I can't yeah. Stand it. I can't stand it. That just made me sick. That 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 literally just made her sick. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what it does to you. Make you sick. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. But you know one thing that would make people gag that I enjoy. What's that? Popping pimples. That does. Oh. And uh. the more that's in it, the better. I'm just like, oh, look at all that coming out. Uh. Oh yeah, she. Nah, no, dude. Nasty. You might. Her obsession with that shit is 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 absurd man like she be having I, she be having the girl sit down like don't move sit still yo i'm curious though what is it about that you like about it i don't know 
know. It's like, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Like, how do you feel? When we pop one, a real good one had that big white puss head I'm on like, it. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> your, 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 your heart, your heart start pounding and shit? It's like, okay, so I looked it up because I felt like it was weird. <laughs> You know how you got like oh yeah it's, oh yeah it's fucking weird. <laughs> you know I'm doing my right. You have like my, no my strange addiction or whatever. But I looked it up and it was like it's an anxiety anxiety thing. So when you pop in it and it comes out, it just it relieves you. I don't know. I don't get that. I don't know. But I like when it comes out because like the deeper it is or the bigger it is, I'm like oh, and I just look at it and I'm like I need to pop it. I need to pop it because it just irritates me until it's gone. No, so so since you have an obsession with pimples, do you get grossed out about <laughs> cysts being popped? No, I wa I watch those videos. Yeah, you and my wife must be related because all she do is watch Dr. Pimple Popper on YouTube. Oh my God! Let me find a pimple on me. I'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's nasty. She's weird as hell, man. She's do you taste it? Do you weird. taste it too? No, ew. Oh, oh. Like I, I didn't, I didn't like know. I was asking. Damn. Oh. God, we have, God. Like, we I don't know, I don't know what you know people do. Oh. Oh, no. I, I don't know what man. Oh. It's gotta be somebody that does it and tastes it too. Oh. Somebody. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that that would make me oh. gay. Yeah. Put, it, they put on a spoon. So. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> hey, look, my gay reflex has they been killed this whole. I have gagged like at least 16 times. This whole damn podcast. I'm done. Hey. Like, I can pop the pencil, hey. but putting that a shit on your mouth, that's like, man. that's like the one teaspoon will hurt what's, you. What's this dude? What's the gold finger? Like, yeah. When he put oh, skin on his eat, eat the skin? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to put yeah. that skin in your mouth, are you? Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Oh. Damn, man. Y'all nasty. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, oh. Rich. Mm. What you got for us, brother? I'm sick, man. <laughs> my stomach is all fucked up right now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! Um, all right. I was, I was upset because Pebble was no more, mm -hmm. but I found another smart watch. It's called Tick Watch Two. I think it's a half step above Pebble because it can do some things that Pebble couldn't, and maybe like a step and a half below an I um I watch so. What's it called again? Hey, tick tock. <laughs> it's called Tick Watch. Tick Watch. Tick Watch. Two. Tick Watch. T I C K. Yep. No T I C. Oh, Tick Watch. Mm, excuse me. Uh huh. Tick Watch two. Right. Yeah, that mug is like one hundred ninety nine dollars. They uh, got a startup on um, Kickstarter. Okay. I see. I see it up on here right now. So so, what is what is the thing that you're excited the most about it? Because I, I like the design of it. I like the design of it. it looks real nice. I like the design also. Um, you can change watch faces, mm -hmm. but um, it almost it, it almost like you have um, Siri or or okay Google right on the watch. You can give it commands and it automatically do it. So okay, that's why I said it's, it's a it's a um, Step maybe a half a step of uh, better than Pebble. I like the white one. The white one is dope. Yeah, I like the white one and I like the black one. I definitely like the black one. I mean, I, I'm not too fond of the of all white colors myself because I feel like it gets dirty so damn fast, and you can dirty, you got yeah. you got to be limited as far as how many times you can actually really uh really wear it. Yeah, but, but I definitely like the black yeah, one. Yeah. It is a nice watch, man. And I'm I'm saving up my money. I'm going to get it. And when I get it, I'm going to get a review and let you guys know. Yeah, I'll be looking All forward right, to man. seeing it. Definitely looking forward to seeing it. Baby, mm -hmm. what do you think? How do you feel about smartwatches, for one? Would you actually wear a smartwatch? Or do you feel like it's a waste of money for yourself? Yeah, I wear watches. Okay, so it's a waste of money for yourself, then. Mm -hmm. how do you I, I just don't... Feel like what's the, I'm not gonna be like this hand is it. It just feel like it's like the most, but I don't know. I don't like watches. I'm just not a watch person. So I'm the wrong person to ask this question. I just wanted to get your opinion at least. Oh, yeah. I mean that's a nice looking watch though. <clears throat> I like the way watches look, but I won't be a purchaser. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like you got to be a, a connoisseur in a sense to really yeah. to really Did appreciate that type of stuff. Hmm? Purchaser. What's purchaser? <laughs> 
to say consumer. I know, but I'm just saying. I didn't realize. <laughs> I said a word that don't make So I, I can say for myself, um, I like watches. I don't really wear too many of them. Um, for myself, I wouldn't really do a smartwatch, mainly because of the simple fact that um, I use my phone primarily more times than not, and I don't, I don't really wear too many watches unless I'm going out on like a special occasion. And like the only type of watch that I would actually wear on a regular basis is is like a Fitbit. Um, and then other than that, I really don't really wear too many of them because I'm at work primarily more times than not, and I'm doing so much of. Um, I'm doing so much lifting and picking up stuff and taking stuff out that I, I'm really, really selective as far as like, you know, the type of stuff that I would wear. Like I'm, I'll wear the most raggedy shit that I can wear to wear at work because of the simple fact that I'm at work and I'm not trying to get my good stuff messed up. So I, I wouldn't have as much time to actually wear something like that, but I definitely like the, uh, like you said, uh, Reg, I, I like the design of it. I like the fact that you can change the watch faces. And um, I'm 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 a fan of the all black color look though. Yeah. Yeah. Got Love anything it. you want to add since here? Uh yeah. <clears throat> um, I want one shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of picking up my damn phone out of my pocket all the time. I get a message or a call. I want to be able to use my damn watch to do that shit, not to dig in my pocket and grab it out and. Gotta push the button and all that shit there. Nah, I want one. Okay, cool, man. Um, I want the price to go down on them a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before I get, before I start actually really getting to buying them, and I'm also waiting for them to get cameras. So, um, and I mean decent camera, not some yeah, crap. Yeah, I, mean, I was gonna say like camera. like that flip phone shit. Yeah. So once once that's done, there's already a company that's working on a a, a band for the. Apple Watch that has the camera built in, a true HD camera. So that's already in the in the works. But when they do that for that, then I'm gonna start buying them. But I do want one. I think they're pretty dope, pretty sweet, and it can save you from having to carry your phone with you everywhere. Like you say, you're working all the time. You just have your watch on and gotta worry about you know getting a message from your phone because you're riding your wrist and you have a you know, message on your on your wrist right there while you're working and uh, make phone calls and shit. I think it's dope, man. Yeah, I mean everyone has. Uh... I'm a tech person. Yeah, so. yeah, I know that. I definitely remember that part. And I mean, I'm I'm somewhat of a tech person, but I don't really like to get everything that you know comes out that's that's um, that's new in the tech world. Like I can do without you know getting every damn thing in the world. Um, so the last thing we got for you guys is um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have probably heard this story, but it's a YouTuber by the name of uh, Adam Sala. Uh, if I pronounced it miscorrectly, I apologize. I believe he's a really, really big YouTuber with over a million subs. And he posted a video about him being kicked off of a Delta airplane because he was uh, speaking his native language to his mother and his uh, brother, if I'm not mistaken. So he posted a video about this and it blew up. It got to the news. It's all over social media and it's all over Worldstar. Now, today I happened to come across this video uh, with Philip DeFranco and everyone knows who Philip DeFranco is. He's a big YouTuber as well. That covers a lot of news stories as well. And he pretty much show or told everybody and showed everybody that this was actually fake. Now, what ended up happening is that they did a couple interviews as far as like, uh, other, other news, news stations, did some interviews with some, uh, some of the people that was on the airplane. And they were saying that the entire thing was staged and how the way he would do it is that he would be in the airplane. No one would be paying him no attention. He'll stand up, shout something in his native language, and then sit back down. He'll wait a few more minutes. He'll stand back up, shout something, and then sit back down. Now, he kept doing that repeatedly until someone finally said, you know, people got to the point to where they was just feeling uncomfortable with that happening. And then they ended up, you know, kicking them off the plane, which is what everyone sees now. Now, this is not the first time that he's actually faked a prank before. And now that, that all of this information is coming out and coming out and about, the biggest thing that I want to know from you guys is the simple fact of how do how do you feel about um, YouTubers doing things in this nature or doing, I guess you can say, 
fake um what's the word i'm looking for fake experiments or fake things to really gain for uh, the gain fame really like how how did how do you really feel about that um <clears throat> i don't really care man personally um you can't tell a lot of this shit is fake, man. Like them pranks, you, you, that's like that. That's the same thing happened with wrestling. Like, like you knew it was fake a long time ago, mm -hmm. but these new people who just realize it was fake make a huge deal about it. But you gotta use common sense, man. Certain things that people do, you just got to know are just not real, man. It's just for entertainment. And then when you find out it's fake, so what? It was still entertaining. Regardless of fake or not, that's the whole purpose of the video is it to tame you. It wasn't like everything they say is the true. Just the, all my videos are true. No, it's a prank channel. So they pranking you too. I don't know what the fake prank they doing. Mm -hmm. So I don't, it don't bother me, man. They make money off that shit. Do it. it don't, yeah, it doesn't do anything for me. That it right. How you feel about it, Rich? Um, the, I I kind of got mixed mixed. Feelings about it. Um, if it if it if you if you do it and and, and it causes controversy, it causes you know um, causes controversy or, or uh, uproar or something like that. I mean, yeah, that I don't like. But a lot of that, you know, like since said, man, a lot of that stuff, man, is fake and. If it's, if you do it and you making your money off of it, okay, cool. But just don't just don't get people in an uproar about it. Almost like how that Joey Salas thing is is was with the uh, with the Trump car. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. I think um, and you don't know about this baby, but it was a guy when they was going through the whole um, election process, and this YouTuber did a video saying that black people don't like Trump. And he put a car in the hood, quote unquote, and put all these Trump stickers and stuff on, on all on the car. And then the cut to all of these black people beating up the actual car and destroying it. Oh, I knew about that. And but he that was all it was staged. all you're right to make it seem as though, you know, kind of giving, you know, African-American and, and black people a bad name because of the simple fact of the way that video was portrayed. Paid the people beforehand yeah. to do it. So I, I agree with you, Reg. I feel the same I feel the same way when it comes to something like that. But if someone wants to do that as far as, you know, just creating some type of controversial video or creating a video that's fake just to, you know, cause a cause a talking a talking point because that's what it really boils down to. And as long as it doesn't, you know, show any type of disrespect to anyone and um and the culture of anyone then it doesn't it doesn't bother me none i don't really get too caught up into it yeah 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 what about you wifey okay so i watched the video of the aftermath and when i first originally saw the video i did not realize it was the youtube guy that does pranks because i've had seen his pranks where he'll like be dressed in I forgot the technical term of it, but he'll have um, the gear on mm -hmm. with the headpiece and mm -hmm. stuff. And he'll take a bag and he'll walk over to somebody and drop it and run off. Is that him? Yes, that's him. I didn't know that was him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. So, and, so I seen his videos. I was like, oh, that's fucked up, whatever. Yeah. But when I watched this video, I got mad because the people that kicked him off the plane, they was like, oh, well, bye. Get off the plane. But all I heard was... You know, he was just on the phone talking to his mom. And the people yeah. that was in the front of the plane, if, if if it was true that he was standing up yelling, like, whatever in his native language, then the people in the front of the plane that was mad that he was getting kicked off would not have acted like that. So I think that's bull. I don't think he was standing up yelling. I think he was on the phone. And he was probably, you know, he was initiating a reaction, yes, but I don't think he was going that far. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Because everybody that's in the front, the plane wasn't that big. And everybody in the front of the plane was like, what's going on? If he was up, up yelling over and over again, they would have already known what was going on. Unless they was in on it. But I don't think they were in on it. Hmm. Like, people was, like, legitimately like, why are y'all kicking him off the plane? So, hmm. that's why I got mad. Like, because the cockiness of the people on the back of the plane was like, bye, get off the plane whatever like and i 
then I was just like, oh, that's just some racist bull. Like, mm -hmm. even if he was on the phone and even if he did initiate it, their reaction was wrong yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. Because that could have been somebody just normally just sitting on a plane. So he was just showing how people react. Now, the other stuff he do is extra, like throwing a bag on somebody like it's a bomb. That's extra. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. being on a plane, being on the phone saying saying something yeah. in your language, that's showing racism. So. Yeah. All right, that's good. That's good. Well, I think that pretty much does it for us. Uh, we pretty much covered all the topics and everything that we wanted to talk about. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode of the uh, Trifecta Podcast. Um, we have two more coming up next week. We have a special New Year's edition of uh, of the podcast um, towards the end of the week next week. And then uh, we'll have a, no a normal recording, as we always do, um, towards the beginning of the week. Um, you want to leave anything for the people sincere? Ah, uh, just uh, again, don't get to hit y'all notifications for our channel so you'll be notified when we put our videos and uh, like, share, subscribe. And we'll be coming with a whole new channel pretty soon for, for just the podcast. So we're getting a Trifecta podcast new channel on YouTube. We'll be letting y'all know when that's ready up, up and running. So it's and Twitter and Instagram, all the Trifecta podcast follows there. Rich, yeah. <laughs> what you got, brother? <laughs> so um, yeah, folks, be on the lookout for that for that um, YouTube channel. And um, man, go and subscribe to these two dudes, man. They are funny, entertaining, enjoyable. I know you guys are gonna like them. So go, you know, go sign up, man. Hit that subscribe yeah. button. You know. Subscribe. Hey, 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 you want to leave? Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Queen. <laughs> Wonder Queen. Wifey. Follow my husband. Love, peace, and everything. Man, what about them two? Oh, you just going to leave oh. them out in the open like that? Ah. Just all butt ass naked? God damn. You can feel the love in this room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I wasn't finished. All I said was follow my husband. Sorry, I have to put this in my face. <laughs> and I said love, peace, and hair grease. And also, everyone who does not follow the, the <laughs> red is here. follow them. Push the like, subscribe button for all three, for the whole trifecta. And me when I get out there, but I'm not. Yeah, so. she's not doing that. She'll, she'll, she'll continue but to when I drop that thing next year. Drop what thing next you year? You know what I'm dropping next year. Oh, no. I'm, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that. No, no, no. It's not anything what? like that. No, what? I'll, I'll, I'll kind of. Dropping that thing. I'll, I'll announce it to everybody when when the time is right. It is something that something that she something really. Something that I'm working on yes. that I need to go out and support. Yes. I will definitely. Um. I will right. definitely drop it, drop it to you guys when, when it's when it actually is right for me to do it. So, all right, we we wait for, wait yeah, for. Definitely. Um, mm -hmm. I really don't really have anything extra to add, man. I mean, as usual, you know, make sure you go support all of us. We always appreciate the support. Leave your your topics down below in the comment section, and then um, you know, we're still trying to work on the best way to actually work on having more people be guest on the actual uh, podcast so yeah because he gonna kick me off no nah, goodness gracious <laughs> um but other than that man that's all we got for you guys today i'm your man taylor May boy here with sincere b and ridge 1167 and wifey aka wonder quinn until the next episode next week guys we will holler at you all later peace 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 merry christmas